Oh boy everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you the comparison of all this midsole. Let's go! So guys, I have some of the latest midsole inserts here. Um, it's been like um, from, of course it started with the Kobe's with a drop in midsole and actually I forgot if it's from the LeBron too. I don't know actually which one came first, the LeBron 11s or the Kobe's with the drop in. Let me know in the comments down below. But right now, there's a lot of sneakers that are using a drop in midsole technology. It is because it gives you a better feel of the cushion at the same time. The thickness of the midsole won't hinder on the responsiveness and the feel of the sneaker. So it's a very nice way of implementing tech and of course maximizing the tech under your foot and really feel the cushion below your foot. Uh, for me, it's one of my favorite cushion setup aside from a full length zoom struggle. A drop in midsole is of course on top of my preference. So here are some of the companies that are currently using drop in midsole of course the serious player only which has this new one the explosive midsole which is an etpu it's a full length etpu cushion and of course the kobe 8 pro Cho uses a react drop in midsole and some of the others from the serious players only is the evan Lund, which is the regular ones that it will come with the player one the player one plus and of course another one is the evan lon light uh this comes this two insoles comes with the player one plus and you can also buy this extra midsole support the support yeah here you can see there's a plastic piece here for additional torsional support so this four are from serious player only and this two is what usually comes in the shoes and these are extras, the explosive and the support system, okay? And from Nike, like I said, Kobe 8 Protos and from Jordan brand, they just implemented this one with the Cyan 3 and if you want to watch my performance review of the Cyan 3, click the link down below. And another sneaker company that uses is the Way of Wade. I didn't include the, the Jimmy Butlers, the JB1s, which is also under the company of Leaning, which is also Way of Wade, same company. This too is from the Ultra. This is the 808 Ultra, which is also a full length boom cushion. It's ETPU too, but it's kind of different from the explosives in terms of the density of the foam. This one feels like more of the styro feel to it. On hand, it gives a bit more impact protection. Plus, if you're comparing them side by side, the explosives are thicker. So impact protections on the explosives will be a little bit better in my opinion. And this one is from the 808 3 regular, which has the boom puck here in the forefoot. Plus they put this plastic piece here for torsional support while on the ultras it has this whole plastic for extra torsional support too and of course given that the different kind of insole like i've said the main difference of all of this is the evan lon light on the sears player one if you have the lular lon it feels the same but on the regular ones two box which is ETPU2 that is made out of the explosives so this one is the same with the explosives but they added two more box uh, for impact protection it's like a gel on hand so for this one is another one of my favorite to use I don't usually use the Evan on night because I really want extra cushion below my foot but for all of you who wants total responsiveness and of course cord feel you will like this lunar lawn feel of the evan lawn light as for the zion 3's drop in midsole it feels good but don't expect too much from this four foot zoom unit but i wish that they implemented it 
here on the Kobe 8 Protos midsole on the React, then they put this zoom unit on the forefoot or in heel too because this is way more expensive, the Kobe 8 Protos compared to the Zion 3s. And I was wondering why Nike didn't implement it and put it some zoom units in the Kobe 8 Protos. Um, but hopefully on the Kobe 9s, they will put some zoom unit because I don't think that they will still put some zoom units in the upcoming colorways of the Kobe 8 Protos. So if you want more cushion out of all of this, the Explosives is my number one option or my number one choice in terms of, of course, impact protection and bounciness. And the next one is this support midsole also from Series Player One because it also has this puck as plus this extra torsional support. But if you don't want that extra torsional plastic piece, the regular ones will be as good because it has impact protection. It has bounciness feel to it. And next is, of course, the Kobe 8s. I just wish that they thickened this up a little bit more like the explosives so that you could feel more of the bounciness feel of the React. And of course, the court feel of this is very good because of how thin it is. And another one that is for court feel, like for the Evan Lund Light from the Series Player 1, is RDs 2 from the uh, 8083 Ultra and Regulars. They're really thin. Court feel is really, really nice on this too. But uh, I just wish too that this one, the Ultras, they thicken it up like the ones on the Kobe 8s because I think it will make the cushion livelier and bouncier in my opinion because, because there will be more mass to hit your weight and give you a better bounce back like the Explosive. I think the Explosive midsole has the right amount of thickness. It's not too thick. It's not too thin, but it gives uh, the right thickness for you to bounce back and have that impact protection, especially around the heel part of the midsole. So I tested them out. I used a ball and a tube to really test out the bounciness of all this midsole. And the results are the, the bounces came out to be the explosive, which is around 7.5 of the ball. Then next is this um, regular Evan Lons, the strength system from Serious Player Only. And this is the, the heel part of the sneaker. And surprisingly, the Formula 23 from the Zions is around six inches. Very similar to the ones from the Serious Player Only strength support. Then um, almost the same are the the Evan Lund Light from Series Player Only, the 8083 Ultra, and even the regular ones are pretty much the same around the heel part. So because I think they're relatively very thin around the heel, so it didn't have that much bounce back. And this one is a little bit better compared to the 8083 Ultras. The Kobe 8 Pro Tro has a better bounce back around 6 inches while the 8083 Ultra and the regulars are around the 5 and also the Evan Lun Light. So these are the 5s, 6 and 6.5 for the Zions and the regular ones from Sears Player and Explosives 7.5 so that's 1.5 difference. Well for the 4 foot part of course, explosive again. This is on the forefoot. It's also seven inches in height. Then next up is the Zions and the regular strength uh, midsole from Sears Player Only. They're around 6.5. So ex the explosives really has the best bounciness and impact protection among all of these. Like I've said, the thickness is really right especially if you use your weight to it, you will really feel the bounce back and responsiveness of the ETPU from the explosives support midsole. The next up is surprisingly the Kobe 8s. It's around 6.52. Yeah, 6.5 similar to the regular ones from Sirius Player. And of course, the because of the thinness is the 808 
Ultra and the regular ones, they're pretty much the same. The Ultras has a bit more bounce back by half an inch. And I actually tested this, them out with five trials each so that I'll get the best result out of all of them so that it will be fair, it's not just a one-time bounce. And around the forefoot, the, the most less bounce is on the Evan Lawn Light because like I said, this feels like a lunar lawn, but uh, I've seen some um, people really liking the Evan Lawn Light because of the chord feel that it gives you and the responsiveness. So to each its own, it depends on the preference. But for me, because I like cushion right now, in the stage of my basketball journey. So I really like the explosives a lot. Then next is the midsole support. For shoes that doesn't have um, extra torsional support, this will be great. But if you don't have that, um, if you have, but, but if you have the torsional support, you're okay with this regular ones from Serious Player. And as for the Zions, I really like the ones from the Zions, but the shape of it is really, really thin. And it's thinner than the ones on the Kobe 8s. Look how thin it is. You can see the Kobe 8s protruding. Actually, the Kobe 8s are kind of slim already, but the Zions really is on the next level of slimness. You can see that you can see the Kobe's protruding a bit more. So I just wish that they change up even on the Wade 808 Ultra. It's wider compared to the Zions. So uh, the Zions really thin, but I like the zoom unit here on the Zions and the Formula 23 implementation. But I couldn't switch it up on the other sneaker because it will wiggle around the sneaker. And what I usually can do is with the Kobe 8s, I could replace it with the explosive to add a bit more cushion to it. And even the regular ones will surely fit on the Kobe's. And you can interchange this one too on the 808 3 Ultra and the regular ones. But take into consideration that the height difference on the heel is kind of different. So the heel containment would not be the same with its original midsole. So take that into consideration before switching. So what I do is break it in a bit on the midsole first so that it kind of compresses a bit more because first time that you use it, it's really fluffy. So once you've used it, it will compress a bit and it will have a better fit on the sneakers that you would replace it to. So, but don't force it if you really feel that there's a ton of heel slippage. Don't play with that type of setup because you will get injured. So I'm warning you guys, it's not for everything. It depends on the shoe shape, depends on the sneaker. It depends on the height of the heel, especially around the ankle. That's the most important part. So I hope you pick up something here before choosing uh, or interchanging the midsole. So hit me a comment down below on what setups, what exchange you have tried with all this midsole and if you have other midsoles that you have exchanged with. I know there's of course the LeBron 11 with the full and zoom at the bottom. That's money. Hopefully they would bring that back and made it to a rack foam and then full and zoom at the bottom. That will surely be a money for a drop in midsole for Nike. So hopefully they will release that but let me know your thoughts this has been Mark just once again thank you for dropping on this channel i'll catch you on the next one peace